American Medical Review is a national platform where science and art meet, where improving and preserving health and wellness take center stage, where the spotlight seeks out and shines on the healers and innovators. These editorial profiles presented on public television single out advancements in medical treatments, procedures, and services. AmeriPlan USA was handpicked as a featured guest because of its commitment to promoting progress in the field of health and medicine. Hello, I'm Morley Safer. Healing practices and theories have changed significantly over the years. There's more emphasis now on prevention and wellness, and we're more aware of what we can do to help ourselves. Here's one of the latest ideas. Peggy Osborne knows the importance of a bright smile. As a businesswoman, she faces the public every day and needs to keep a bright smile. But it doesn't come cheaply. Just regular checkups uh, can run as high as $150 between the cleaning and the x-rays. Peggy does not carry dental insurance. So when she wanted dental implants, she was told it would cost her $18,000. That was far and above beyond my means, so that's when I started researching different dental plans. What Peggy chose was a provider access organization called AmeriPlan. It's one of a growing number of businesses that are offering savings on dental, vision, chiropractic, and prescription services. In order to receive those discounts, you must go to a participating provider. It really is, uh, based on the model of a Sam's Club, a Costco, or a Price Club. You know, any time that uh, you can deliver uh, a volume of product or services, uh, you should get a, a discounted price on it. Twin brothers, Dennis and Daniel Bloom, started the plan with 30 dentists in Dallas almost a decade ago. Now the plan has 18,000 dentists, 12,000 vision care providers, 6,000 chiropractors, and 50,000 participating pharmacies. Dentists like Dr. John Gober say they're willing to give discounts in exchange for prompt payment. I'm willing to provide discounts to patients that come to us from provider access organizations uh, because we don't have claim forms to file. We don't have to pre-authorize any treatment that these patients might need. We don't have uh, to submit to an insurance company and wait 45 days. We don't have to find out what their deductible is. Uh, my staff knows how to handle it. When a patient calls in on the telephone, we can tell them exactly what their portion is going to be that day. Dental referral or access organizations provide access to care for 7.5% of the 153 million Americans with dental benefits today. Cost is the number one barrier to access to care. So by having the dental referral plans, they have access to that care that they might not otherwise seek. You know, I cannot afford insurance. It's too high. And plus the fact it has limits and caps. Um, it doesn't cover dental implants. Um, you can only spend so much per year. For many, like Peggy, finding sensible ways to keep a healthy smile doesn't have to be painful. Consumers are finding more comfortable ways to swallow the rising cost of health care. Every day there are developments that can help improve the quality of our lives. As these breakthroughs occur, American Medical Review will bring them to you. Thanks for joining us. Wherever the art of medicine is loved, there also is love of humanity. Once again, American Medical Review extends a special thanks to the companies and organizations that have risen to meet today's health and wellness challenges.